Boston Dynamics' iconic Atlas robot has finally left the lab, and we're getting a chance to see it in person at CES, including the production model Atlas, which is brand new, right behind me. We're about to see a demo of how this robot learns in real time. I can't wait to check it out. When Atlas first stepped out at Hyundai's CES event, the robot was walking in a very natural way, not the way that it's usually been walking in a lot of the demo videos that we've seen. That was a test of a more natural walking style they were developing, and that demo was remote controlled, so it's probably not gonna be walking that way when it's working on a factory floor. In the demo behind me, they are showing Atlas in a more factory-like setting, moving car parts from one place to another. Some of this demo is actually autonomous, and there is a screen that shows you when it's autonomous. If Atlas is about to make a mistake, there is a teleoperator standing nearby who can take over and show Atlas the right way to get out of a problem that it's having. Boston Dynamics folks say that they wanna show how the robot learns to be autonomous in real time and how human inputs can help inform that autonomy. They told us that Atlas has a four hour battery life and there are two batteries on the back, so it is hot swappable, so it doesn't have to power down to change batteries. They also told us that Atlas can change its own battery and there is video of that somewhere, but it's not out yet, but we're gonna try and get our hands on it. For 2026, the Boston Dynamics folks say that they are keeping these robots within the family, so to speak. They're only gonna be available to Hyundai, DeepMind, and Boston Dynamics itself. In 2027, they're gonna start expanding into related industries. They say they're gonna start really scaling production in 2028, and by 2030, mass production of Atlases. So get ready. Because they're not really selling this robot yet, there weren't any price details they could share with us. Atlas is taller than me at six foot two, and it can reach things up to seven and a half feet away. It can lift up to 110 pounds and operate in conditions as hot as 104 degrees. It's self-cooling, hence all the vents on the sides of the robot, and it only has two different types of actuators, big ones and small ones. A lot of these humanoid robots, especially ones that are in the workplace, really emphasize safety. So we went through this robot with a really, really fine tooth comb and designed out almost all of the pinch points. So like when you're just handling the robot or if the robot falls near you for some reason, you're not gonna get injured that way. And if you think about a humanoid form factor, there are a lot of places where you could get pinched if you're not careful. There are definitely some ways that Atlas deviates from the human form. The legs are a little farther apart in this new production model, and some of the joints swivel a full 360 degrees. They also didn't quite make the face look terribly friendly, and they say that that was on purpose. Well, it's not a human, um, and I think it, it projects the wrong first impression about a robot to have it pretend to be something that it's not. And it particularly, you know, over early days, maybe the next five years to a decade, the robots are not going to be as smart and as capable as people. People often ask about where is the emergency stop button on these robots, so I asked, and it's actually not on the robot, it's at the control center with the computers. And there's also an issue of how's the safest way to stop these robots. Fully depowering would have it fall over, and if it's pretty, it's pretty heavy industrial machinery, you don't want that falling on you. So Atlas here does a controlled sit down where it basically goes to like a more neutral, safe position. We're designing robots that are going to compete for humans. They're gonna make us more productive and they're gonna let us do bigger and better things. What do you think of Boston Dynamics Atlas? Let us know down in the comments and subscribe for more stories from CES that make you say, what the future?